we are in a different world. People got lazier. People got lazier. Everyone's expectations on income. Yeah. yeah, they could stay home. That they could, you know, make money fast. And so this will take a while. <laughs> so even though the un- unemployment rate's been ridiculously low for a long time, um, one of our guests on the show he he often comments on how uh, how that affects our economy and how we need to get back to six plus percent unemployment just to be able to regulate everybody's ideas and philosophies around work because it's not a it's not a healthy work environment. You need to feel like I need to work hard. I need to swing a hammer. I need to show up at the office. I need to put in extra hours. I need to do that. That's healthy for our economy. That's for sustainability becoming, as Canada as a whole. The point. After COVID and after the monetary expansion, it was becoming it was coming to a point where people who were actually doing day jobs were being seen as suckers because the discrepancy between what they were bringing home versus what some YouTube influencer who was doing some silly dance was bringing home was 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 just not comparable. And you were like, what am I doing with my life? And and that reversal has now taken place because money is not freely sloshing through the system. You know, it's it's funny because we all kind of analyze these things and we're all like, well, individuals make decisions. No, they don't. We, we make decisions in aggregate. We make decisions predicated. If you and I were both born in sub-Saharan Africa, we we wouldn't be sitting here talking about real estate of sub-Saharan Africa. It's it's just it, you're, you're a product of the environment you live in. I'm yeah. a product of 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 a successful law firm because I grew up in an environment that fostered law and saw value in it and put money into lawyers wallets early on, which may not be the case of lawyers growing up today. It's just, it's a different environment. The environment we had over the past three years prior to 2021 was fictitious, was artificial and was inflated. And we are back to the real in a very, very real sense. Thank you. Yeah. And now, like the fallback in Canada, which was always like, you know, fuck, if I lose my job, I guess I'll go swing a hammer or I'll paint somebody's house. Right. I'll go do some yard work. It's gone. Those opportunities are gone. And then all these people that became like copywriters or bookkeepers, like gig kind of stuff on the side. Those guys just got wiped out by chat GPT four, right? Totally. Uh, well, actually, that's true of that's really true of almost all professions, right? Everyone is getting wiped out across the board um, in the professional sense. Um, and it's it, it's difficult. There's a lot of culminating events that are leading us to believe that we're going to see seismic change in how people work. But I don't think that that seismic change is going to result in people sitting at home, snacking on popcorn and making YouTube videos. I think it's going to be a much more traditional sense of work that we were very accustomed to prior to COVID than what most people expect. Having said that, um, you know, the using the tools along the lines of traditional work and in conjunction with traditional work will have remarkable effects on efficiencies. I'm very excited to see what AI heralds for our productivity as a country, as a global society. Really, it's going to be remarkable. I heard that the most affected industry was the digital uh, movie industry. Like DreamWorks was saying they'll be able to cut down on 90% of the time to make one of their films that used to take like 10 years sometimes because well, of it. With, I'm friends with one of the, uh, one of the guys who, who's into, in, he's, he's in NVIDIA in Canada and, you know, like video game designers had to like, I don't know if you guys, I like video games. So like, I love Skyrim, like as an example, Skyrim is a great video game. And it's a virtual world that's huge, just huge. And you can run around and every single mountain has been placed and every single boulder has been placed and whatever it is. Now you just have artificial intelligence create universes, universes, just wherever the place goes, they're generating a universe in the game right Right. then and there. Interactive. There's fascinating applications to AI. Like I'll give you an example that he gave me, which is just, I know this isn't real estate, but it's fascinating. So do you know the way that self-driving cars work? Self-driving cars work by basically taking a whole range of data. You drive them a million kilometers all over the roads. You collect the data. You do an analysis of the data. Boom, they've now learned how to turn right and left and everything else. Traditional AI. Well, wouldn't it be interesting because if you can drive for a million kilometers, you may not see, or you may see one instance of a, of a ball running in front of the car and a kid chasing it, right? Maybe one. That's not a data. That's not sufficient data to build a knowledge within the car to stop when they see a ball, right? 
as an example. So wouldn't it be fascinating if you could get more than a million reams of data? Wouldn't it be fascinating if you can get a hundred million immediately for every instance? What if you could generate data? What if the car itself could generate data and then run its regression analysis on the data it itself generates within a second, such that if a new event happens, like a ball in front of the car, it can generate the progressive sequence of what will happen. And by analyzing that a million times over, can ultimately determine that it needs to stop. Well, you almost have basic. Isn't thought. that happening now? Yeah, it yeah. is. It's fascinating what AI heralds. It's yeah. an amazing development. It's not my area, but uh, boy, am I interested to see where that goes. And these are things that we know of that, you know, we've heard of, but imagine the stuff that, you know, we're, we're how far down the chain are we, you know, like there's some stuff out there that must be just absolutely like mind boggling what it can be. Mind -boggling. Imagine just the whole internet, um, mobile phones, smartphones, all that kind of stuff. Imagine all the jobs that those took out, right? And and the guys at the time when it was creating, they were just like, geez, you know what? The yellow pages and, you know, my call service and fax machines, whatever oh, it was wow, that, that yeah. were being replaced. How many more opportunities came from it? We yeah. were so small minded when I was like, oh, AI, my job. Oh, no, it's going to make it's going to create so much more opportunity for people. It's going to create so many things we can't even imagine yet the world that we're going to enter when yeah, AI is an option. Like but, you can be almost in any role because of the creativity that AI you'll be like, you know what, today I'm going to be a web developer. I'm going to design myself a website. Here I go. And you'll have those abilities right because of it. And that will be remember, actually guys. creating jobs. Uh, whatever happens, there's always only fence. So like I, 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 I satisfy myself in the knowledge that don't worry about it. There's always there's a fallback. Always, We're good. There's always yeah, only fence. Listen, I've tried. <laughs> all right. It's not as easy it's as it seems. It's not that easy. All you right? should try with the mustache. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but hold on a sec. I think you might be missing one piece of the puzzle that I think is going to be very important because I think a lot of industries and a lot of different jobs will all be lost in a very, very, very short amount of time. And it's, it, yeah, maybe this will at some point, you know, there'll be more jobs or new jobs spawn from it. But I think the rate that the jobs will disappear will probably increase because the AI will think of new ways to eliminate the uh, uh, mistakes of the humans uh, just as part of the process. So as it's just doing its thing, it'll just become more and more efficient and need less and less of us fucking up the process. We can and ask AI how to have more jobs for the human body to be able to do every single day. Like yeah. it's just, it's endless. It's exponential. Yeah, Go sit in that pod over there and just plug yourself oh, it'll in. Say, Look, Everything this will industry will never be replaced by us. We need more humans here and it'll guide people. I'm telling you, I, I believe I, I, AI creates more jobs. It eliminates 42% of the jobs we have right now. But it'll you create imagine? jobs you, that we don't even know about yet. Imagine everybody on the road or every car or every vehicle on the road was run by AI and traffic was just moving so beautifully and nobody got in accidents anymore. Just think about how about many that. jobs disappear from that. Hey guys, thanks for watching our Clips channel. Why don't you go and check out some more clips? We got lots of other good content somewhere over here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Boom. That was good. That was good. That was good. I like that. That was good.